What's happening everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you're doing awesome today. We have a couple of unboxings to dig into and one of these I am very, very excited to get into. Uh, it's something that I seen recently on Gideon's stuff. I will link his channel down below. He's a, a younger college student who makes some good videos and he had this knife featured on one of his videos recently and I just had to pick it up. It looks awesome. We'll go ahead and use the CMB Made Knives Predator V2 to get into these packages and we will start with this one first. This is just a little something that I picked up uh, just because I wanted to check it out and see if it was any good i'm not a i'm not huge into fidgets but i do have some and i do i do enjoy uh a fidget every now and again and i will you know occasionally take one with me you know and whatnot so i did get this on amazon and it wasn't you know it wasn't real expensive but it had good reviews and i saw some video of it and it looked you know it looked pretty good i've i want something that's high quality that is a slider similar to this uh but i've been just trying to pick and choose now i have tons of like uh printed ones and i have lots of different fidgets uh, but I don't have a slider similarly to this style. Uh, and I'm looking for something like that, you know, with maybe titanium or something to that effect. Uh, but I will link this down below if anyone is interested. I just thought it was cool. Like I said, it, it was not a lot of money. Uh, it's a copper finish, so it is a little weightier, uh, but because of these protrusions, you do get a nice amount of traction, uh, and it is nice and clicky. Uh, I'm never in a spot where, you know, I don't work in a place where you gotta be quiet or an office or anything like that, so I never look for a quiet fidget if I ever buy one. Uh, this one has some good acoustics to it. The magnets aren't the strongest, uh, but I could see this being pretty fun, and especially for the price point. Uh, you know, this was under 20 bucks. I forget the exact price, uh, but I will link it down below if you're interested in checking it out. They have a couple different finishes and materials, I think. Uh, but I ended up going with this one pretty cool little fidget. So let's get to the, 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 the reason why we're really here. And it's this guy here and guys, I am stoked to get this thing and start carrying it immediately. Uh, you'll see here in a second. This is one of the most unique knives that I have come across in quite some time. So that'll be all in the bag. So what we see here, guys, is a big old CRKT box. I don't have many CRKTs. Uh, I think I have one fixed blade from them and then a tomahawk, and that might be about it. Uh, so I want mine checking out more, and that's one of the reasons, aside from this being awesome, that, you know, I wanted to get this. So, here we go, guys. And then you have a little pamphlet in there, you know, some uh, magic from CRKT. And they don't have much else on the box. So, here we go, guys. I am stoked to get this thing and start carrying it. So this is the CRKT Razzle or Razel or however you want to say it. This thing is awesome. It's like a, a chisel knife and this is perfect, absolutely perfect for me and my day job. Uh, being a carpenter, I always have a need for an edge pretty much 
And because I'm a carpenter, a chisel comes into play a lot, whether it's scraping or what have you. Uh, and having this secondary edge is going to be awesome. It's completely flat, so it's not really a tanto. Uh, apparently, it's called a, a razor blade. That is the name of it, I guess. Uh, it's a Graham design, and he is the one who apparently came up with this blade shape. I love the look of this knife. It is unique, and it is a good size. It has a nice handle here. Uh, I can get a full purchase on this guy. No refund, as my boy Puerto Rican with a knife would say. And this is like a micarta that does have some infusion done to it. But it still maintains a nice soft texture. It looks like you have some red G10 underneath of there, I believe, it looks like. And then you have some cool pins uh, that go with the G10 liners be below the micarta there. And then you do have a lanyard hole there if you would like to throw a lanyard on this guy. I will probably not throw a lanyard on it, but one of the other crazy selling points for me on this guy was the sheath and it comes with a clip so i can throw this right now right in to my pocket and i can throw this in my back pocket you know in my work pants my work jeans my work shorts and it's i'm already ready to go uh this is awesome i'm stoked to have this thing in and uh, as soon as I saw it on Gideon Stuff's channel the other day I went right to Amazon to see if I could get it and get it quickly and this bad boy comes in right around 60 bucks D2 steel uh, I'm a 60 bucks for my Carta and D2 with a nice sheath and pocket clip for the sheath uh yeah i'm i'm stoked to get this thing get it in pocket and start using it you have some nice fine jimping up there that'll keep you nice and locked in yeah this thing is absolutely awesome now i said it in a recent video about doing some testing outside and things like that and if you're interested in something like that let me know down in the comments uh, if you're interested in seeing outdoor videos, testing fixed blades and folders and other various equipment and gear. It is something that I have long been planning to do uh, and I am now set up and geared to be able to do that. I basically just been waiting on some cooler weather and the cooler weather is it's starting to come we might have a few hot ones still left in the year but it is starting to cool off and there is going to be a lot of outdoor content coming up uh, if there's something you are interested in seeing me do outdoors a specific knife or anything like that we're going to start off with a few that have been sent into the channel uh, as far as folders and then I have some fixed blades already in mind to start doing some testing on. And we're going to put a few folders through the gauntlet and see how they hold up. See if they hold up and see what they look like when we are done. Because uh, we're really going to put them through the ringer. I want to see what some of these budget companies who are making knives see what you know they're made of. And... We're also going to move up the ladder in price point on the folders and see what some of them can do. And then we're going to keep going and keep going and just see how things go. And like I said, I'm going to be incorporating different fixed blades, different sizes, you know, maybe some bigger fixed blades, maybe up to some machetes or kukri style knives. You know, we're going to get into a bunch of stuff all into the winter. I am stoked 
to start doing that stuff and it will be coming very soon let me know if you're interested in seeing that though i'd really like to know uh i know a lot of guys have asked me uh if if or when i was going to start doing that kind of stuff uh and i fully intended on it ever since starting my channel last winter in october i just was not geared up to do such things at that time but now we are ready to go with cameras and microphones and all the stuff I should need, mounts and whatnot. Uh, so it is coming, guys. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this guy. Let me know what you think of some outdoor testing. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below the video or click the G-Ball Vision logo that's about to pop up on your screen. I'd love to have you here. I'll throw up two new videos. Definitely go and check them out. Love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.